Hello, my name is Madeline Eagley, and welcome to my MathCast. Today, our intended audience is fourth grade, and our learning objective will be to express metric capacity measurements in terms of smaller unit. Model and solve addition and subtraction word problems involving metric capacity. Before we get started in our lesson today, we do need to go over some vocabulary. So today we're going to review what the metric system is, what volume is, and the units we will be using are liters and milliliters. For our second set of vocab, the metric system and volume, we don't need to know much about the metric system for the conversions we're doing today, but here's just a basic setup on how we do many conversions in the metric system. We'd put our base unit here, and to go smaller, we'd move this way, and our decimal point would move this way. To go bigger, we'd move this way, as would our decimal point. For volume, volume is defined as the number of cubic units needed to fill a three-dimensional space. So when we're working with volume, we're working in a three-dimensional unit. Here it's shown we have one cubic unit, and then we have this box, and it would take 12 cubic units to fill up that space. For liters and milliliters, I have a visual aid to help us visualize what the units we're working with look like. So for liters, it'd be about the size of a smart water bottle. And for milliliters, it's about the size of a small cup used to take medicine. So this is, would be 100 liters. To convert milliliters to liters, every liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. All right, now that we went over our vocab, we're ready to move into example one. Before we start, we need to remember that one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. For reference, I listed here that one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters, so we don't have to keep checking, as well as including the system we will be using to make our conversions today. We will be putting the unit that we start with here, in this case, liters, multiplying by the conversion needed. So, one liter, or one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. Since we are going to a smaller unit, we will be multiplying. When we go to a bigger unit, we divide. Multiplying goes on the top and dividing goes on the bottom. Part A tells us to convert two liters and 500 milliliters into all milliliters. All right, so here I wrote that down for reference and I started to set up our conversion system. So we have two liters times, we know that we have to multiply since we are going to a smaller unit. So our 1,000 is going to go here on the top, and 1,000 milliliters is equal to one liter. Now that we have this set up, we're going to make sure that our like units can cross out. So we have liters and liters, and now all there's left to do is multiply. So 2 times 1,000 is equal to 2,000 milliliters. Now that all of that is done, we can now add our 500 milliliters to 2,000 to create our total amount of milliliters. So our zeros drop down. 0 plus 5 is equal to 5. And 2 plus nothing is equal to 2. Oops. 2,500 milliliters. For part B, we are converting 70 liters and 850 milliliters to all milliliters. So here I have written down that 70 liters and 850 milliliters is equal to how many milliliters? And I also set up our conversion chart for us. So 70 liters times 1,000 milliliters is equal to one liter. Again, we're gonna make sure that our like units cross out. So we have two liters, so those are getting crossed out. And now we just multiply 70 times 1,000 milliliters now I just went ahead and added the 850 milliliters that we had not added to the 70,000 milliliters to get a grand total of 70,850 milliliters. Finally, for part C, we are taking 33 liters and 15 milliliters to find out how many total milliliters we will get. All right, so here I completed our first conversion. I have 33 liters times we put the 1,000 on top because we're multiplying to get to our smaller unit. 1,000 milliliters is equal to one liter. And then we will multiply these to get a grand total of 33,000 milliliters. Now all we have to do is add our leftover 15 milliliters to get our total. All right, again, 
5 plus 0 is equal to 5. 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. No 0 drops down. The 3 drops down as well as the other 3. That gives us a grand total of 33,015 milliliters. All right. Our, for example 2, our directions are simple. All we have to do is solve. So we have to solve 81 liters and 603 milliliters. Subtract 22 liters and 498 milliliters. So we need to convert both of these into the same units. We're going to start with 81 liters and 603 milliliters, and I think it will be easiest for us to convert it to the smaller unit, since 603 is not easily divisible into 1,000. Just like in our last problem, since we're going to a smaller unit, we're going to multiply, so the 1,000 milliliters will go on top, our one liter will go on the bottom, and we're gonna cross off our units, and then we're gonna multiply. So 81 times 1,000 is going to leave us with 81,000 milliliters. And then all we have to do is add our 603 milliliters into that. That leaves us with a grand total of 81,603 milliliters. I put this up top so we will remember what we're solving. All right, now we're gonna move on to our 22 liters and 489 milliliters. Again, I'm just gonna leave the milliliters alone for now and focus on our liters. We're gonna be converting this into milliliters, which means we're multiplying, so this goes on the top. We're gonna to check our units and these two cross off. So we're gonna go ahead and cross them off. And now all that's left to do is multiply. That leaves us with 22,000 milliliters. And now we're just gonna add on our remaining milliliters. And that gives us a grand total of 22,489 milliliters. All right, now all there's left to do is solve. So remember, we're taking the 81,603 milliliters and subtracting 22,489 from that. That leaves us with 59,114 milliliters. For our last example, our word problem reads, a family drank one liter, 210 milliliters of milk at breakfast. If there were three liters of milk before breakfast, how much milk is left? Again, to start this problem, I think it would be easier to convert everything to the same unit. So we're going to start with what the family drank at breakfast. If they had one liter and 20 milliliters of milk, that would mean they had how many milliliters in total? We're going to set up our conversion chart, and in this case, it's super easy. Since we already know that one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters, our answer is simply 1,000 milliliters. And again, we just need to add on our remaining 20 milliliters to get our final answer. So for breakfast, the family drank a total of 1,020 milliliters of milk. All right, now we're going to convert the original amount of milk. We knew that they had three liters, so this is equal to how many milliliters? We're multiplying into a smaller unit, so the smaller unit will go on top. And our conversion, our original unit, is going to go on the bottom. We're going to cancel these out and that's gonna leave us with 3,000 milliliters. Now, all we have to do is find out how much milk was left after breakfast. If the family originally had 3,000 milliliters of milk, and they drank 1,020, and without overcomplicating the situation, we know that we're taking 1,020 away from 3,000. So that's going to leave us with 2,000. And we know that taking 20 away from 100 would leave us with 80. So 2,080 milliliters of milk after breakfast. Thank you for watching my math cast. My resources used was Engage New York and Math Vocab Cards. Again, this was created by Madeline Evely.